Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of October 11th through October 18th. This is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as usual, I thank you all very much for everything you do for the channel. From taking the time to watch the readings to hitting that like button so that YouTube will suggests the reading to people who are searching for it and certainly for subscribing. It means a lot to me and I'm having fun doing this. So thank you for sharing your energy with me and allowing me to read for you. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. I post new readings every Friday and then typically again on either Monday or Tuesday. I, I know there's, you know, it's, it's always somebody's reading, but it's not always everyone. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can either check back on the channel in a couple of days, or you can, we'll get to that later, one of them fell out, or you can watch a different part of your chart. So what does Leap, excuse me, what does Scorpio need to know here? What messages do you have for Scorpio, please? What advice do you have for Scorpio? Okay. All right, here we go. So we'll do a tarot reading here, and then we will do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading where you can ask a yes and no in a, a timeline. So we begin with Strength, the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. You've got the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. And then you have this Five of Cups, which is interesting that this flew out since the last card is a six. I do feel like there's a connection there. You have certainly water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Leo here. You have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's kind of an earthy reading, actually, Earth and water. And then you have um, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I do feel like there's a bit of heartache here or a bit of disappointment. Actually, I'm going to say less strong. It's more like disappointment. And it may have been a series of things that's happened that have been disappointing. Some of you, it has caused you to be a bit closed off, all right, because you don't want to be hurt. And it's keeping you a little bit guarded here. So with that too, for some of you with the strength card, you may have feelings for someone then they feel more on the repressed level. Like for some of you, I, there's somebody here, I feel like there's a person where you say you can't stand the person, you're going to end up dating them. And I know you're like, no, click the reading off. I'm going to go watch a different channel. But I'm telling you, that is here for somebody where you keep saying it, but that's not what your heart's telling you. And your heart always whispers the truth. And I don't care what your head tells you, your heart will come back and whisper the truth every single time. So whoever that's for, it could also be in the reverse where they've said it about you, but that's not true. And I, I feel it's almost a, there's a denial there for some reason. Um, so allow it to happen. It, this is also too, though, it, there's infinite abundance here, but there's a, a strong sense of capability is not quite the right word for it, but being able to overcome things, resilience, that's a better word for it. So with this five of cups, it doesn't, it's not something that stops you in your track. It's, it's like being down, but being resilient, being able to overcome it and finding solutions to every problem. I do feel for somebody here, they missed out on a lot of travel opportunities and it was a big bummer. I do see them going, whoever that is. You don't have a lot of travel cards in this, but it's coming in that you're going to start planning trips and it's going to be, you're going to be so much more appreciative of it. Even if it's difficult to travel, it will be like, I guess sometimes we get into such a, a routine of things and I don't want to accuse anyone of not being appreciative, but it is kind of like taking it for granted. And then when you get it, get to be able to do it, it's just this overwhelming sense of appreciation. It's a really beautiful energy. So you definitely have a soulmate here. And I do feel for some of you, it's a reconciliation. And the person thinks of you often, they see a future with you. It could be somebody from your past too, who's just knows of you. For somebody, it might be somebody you worked with before. And that may be where this thing comes in about 
oh no, we'd never, you know, we'd never go out. And, uh, but really they want to secretly. You are a match, whoever this is for. And it really is a great pairing. It's a really, there's a nice friendship here. It For some of you, it may be somebody you're already friends with and you're just not crossing the line. And I wouldn't say this is friend zone. It's more like you're friends and there's a connection there that nobody's acknowledged. That's what it feels like. There's a connection there, and I don't know if you end up having a couple of drinks at a bar here somewhere, and one thing leads to another, and people are a little more loose. That certainly could happen, but it feels like there's an attraction, there's chemistry here, and it will evolve into a relationship. There's definitely a potential, and and there's a desire to with this three of this three of pentacles. Interestingly enough, you have both the three and the four, much like I said, you had the five and the six of cups. So you have some alignment here, three, four, five, six, and there's synchronicity there. And the universe is talking to you. They're communicating. The universe wants to interact with you. And really we animate our thoughts. So whatever we focus on for long enough, it becomes our reality. This is a beautiful grounded reality. This is moving forward in work life, it's it's working together well. You've got money here, by the way. Somebody might be a bit conservative with money right now, and that's okay. It's not. It's certainly better than being frivolous with it, but it does feel... Yeah, I look right at that Seven of Swords. For some of you, it may be that you've loaned money out to people and you're just being more conservative because you don't want to give money to people. And there may be a lesson here. I do hear somebody saying, don't loan money, just give it. And if they pay you back, great. And I don't know if somebody's gotten that advice. But as I hold this, this is also like seeking counsel to some extent. So you may have somebody that comes in and gives you advice. And that's basically their advice. This is too, though, about, this can be very much about building a home. Uh, for some of you that I get that coming through, wanting a home, and it may be in the very beginning stages where you're looking at different things on Zillow, you're internet surfing, looking for ideas, looking at areas, just trying to figure things out and trying to plan. It's very much in the the planning stages. I also do feel like in a relationship, it's at ground level, and this is that why there's an architect here kind of elevating things to the next level, an architect who elevates things to the next level. And that certainly could just be energetically bringing it up to the next level. So you've got the seven of swords here and for somebody where it's an X or something, and even this thing with it being somebody who doesn't want to acknowledge their feelings, I don't feel like they're a horrible, untrustworthy person. It's more like they're trying to hide something, but they're not very good at it. And I do feel for the, the storyline that is somebody that's more like a friend, everybody around them knows that they're not hiding anything. Um, but again, they're not some malevolent force. It's more like just be open with it. But for some reason, they are reluctant to do that. But I do feel the truth comes out. I do feel like they can't fight this feeling, right? I think that's um, air supply. So <laughs> I do, again, I don't feel like, especially with this being a seven, in terms of numbers in the tarot, sevens are generally about victory and success. This is not something to keep you down. It really is more about acknowledging there's somebody here that's not completely expressing themselves and they have it with the strength card too. They are for some reason repressing something. If it's an X too, that very well may could be that they don't want to fully make the first move. They're waiting for this they're waiting for this like synchronistic alignment. They have this idea in their head and I kind of chuckle because I think this person daydreams quite a bit if it's next and they have an idea, but they don't get it that they have to take some action. So not much will happen if they don't do that. So you've got the queen of swords here and it's kind of a no bullshit kind of an energy. Like I'm, I don't know if I like this idea that they've got this fantasy cooked up. I can already tell somebody doesn't like that. Like, if you're going to come come for me, then do it straightforward. She would not be one to, to really put up with that for too much. But there is wisdom here. And for some of you, I look at the Queen of Pentacles too. Both of these are very wise queens. There's an energy here that brings great clarity, but also great communication. So for some of you, you may call out somebody who you know has feelings for you and just get to it. 
why waste the time, right? We're not here forever. We might as well figure out if this is going to work or not. So with this Queen of Swords, so you've learned from things. You're wise from things. And this is also to a, a position of, in terms of professional jobs, somebody who is a lawyer or a a speaker of some sort, very educated, PhD. So it could be you or it could be the other person that you're attracting, a uh, master's degree. They have a lot of education here. And for somebody, I get LPC, Licensed Practical Counselor. It's not generally associated with this card, but I'm going to say it because it came in. Um, so, but either way, I do feel like this person has a lot of education and um, they they just need a little bit of a they, they need a bit of a conversation, a straightforward conversation to let go of fear. So for you, I mentioned you may have had an issue with money, somebody taking money and not paying it back. And that might make you be a bit more conservative with loans to friends, right? We're not quick in loans over here. This isn't Bank of America. You're going to have to go figure things out. But I also feel like this is the energy of somebody you're attracting in a way that they're not completely blocked off. It's It almost could be over their mouth. The pentacle could be covering their mouth. Like they're afraid to speak up. They're tentative. That's the best word to say. They're very tentative about this. So they're watching and they're trying to find the right timing. I feel like that's very important to this person is the right timing of things. So again, I don't feel like they're completely closed off in their heart as much as speaking up and really getting things started here. So with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a really a beautiful queen. And much she's much like the Empress, all right? There's new growth and it's new opportunities all around you. So there certainly could be things at work that come your way, a new position in a new department or something where you have more even more flexibility at work, more freedom at work, where maybe you are between territories or buildings or something like that and it just gives you more freedom but I do feel like there's more money with it too this is very much an energy of perfectionism so as again with a relationship I feel like this person is hung up on getting just the right elements aligned I don't want to describe them as completely uptight but I feel like it's important to them that's why they're doing that it's they don't want to screw things up is the energy they don't want to screw it up and they're afraid if they go about it in the wrong way that that's exactly what will happen. So with this though, it's really about valuing your community and kind of contributing, giving back. Some of you may have an opportunity where you do some kind of a race, like it's like a charity thing. Um, there's something to do with, with giving back to the community in some way. It might even be through work where your work is donating things. I see somebody carrying boxes of like donations and it has to do with their work. So that also is coming through. But either way, she's a she really is a beautiful queen and brings a lot of gets a lot of attention. And because part of this is humility, too, there's a humility about her and there's an appreciation for things around you an appreciation for being part of the community for also for money, for bringing in money and stability. So I mentioned before, you've got the Six of Cups, and we might as well show it with this. You definitely have love here. There's no doubt about that. There is a sense of nostalgia, though, with the Six of Cups, and it can be about looking at previous times in your life where you felt happy, you felt content, and you felt like you were just in flow. And part of that can be manifested again. You can manifest yourself as happy. You could even do it as unconditional. It doesn't matter what happens. I just want to feel happy and the universe will fill out the details. The universe will take care of the how because that's really not our business anyway. We just sit back and enjoy the ride. This can also be about next coming back. So be aware of that. Somebody who's really had you on their mind and in their heart. And in terms of, like I said before, somebody that you already know, a friend or a coworker, same thing. They think of you a lot and they do have a, there's an energetic connection. And honestly, I feel like they're already in love with you, even if you're not dating the person. Or if you are and it's fairly new and you haven't said the L word yet, they th they are in love with you. So there's definitely love here. But again, there needs to be some communication. And 
some action. There's not, you know, there's no fire in this, and that really can be the spark, that little spark that ignites the whole thing and makes it, helps it to go forward. So let's see what the angels have to say here. For Scorpio, please. And how about a timeline here for Scorpio? And the yes, the no, the maybe. Yeah, there's some good stuff there. So forgiveness. I do feel that maybe for the reconciliation people. Might also have to do with the disappointment in the Five of Cups and just kind of letting go of that energy so that way you can move forward without bringing it with you. Because sometimes when you get too attached to that kind of energy, it keeps following us because it says, oh, good, you want that. So romance, all right, no wands in here, but I'm going to say the love that's here, there's going to be a romantic component to it. And like I said, this person, I do feel somebody is in love with you here. And maybe it's you that brings in sort of this sexy romantic energy, but there's definitely somebody who's very thoughtful in this, does a lot of things that kind of just take your breath away. You've got a golden opportunity coming in. This is a big opportunity. So as it presents itself to you, if it's something for a house, as we talked about that three of pentacles, or something to do with money too, finance, it's definitely something to give a lot of attention and thought to and deep consideration. Perfect timing, all right? So you, the timing is now. And you've got a yes. So whatever you're asking for, they're telling you yes. They're telling you move forward and it's a yes because there is, there is depth here. There's love, there's romance, and there is a golden opportunity. So great things shall come to pass for you, Scorpio. I love you so much and I'll be back again soon.